Good day and welcome to Trust TV. I am Simon Echewo from Sunday and this is Trust TV News. The Senior Special Assistant to the President on Job Creation and Youth Empowerment, Afolabi Imukede, has assured beneficiaries of the Empire Scheme that they would get their mass stipend this week. Imukede blamed the delay on the Ministry of Finance and the Accountant General's Office, adding that some issues were being sorted out. He said, it is not as if we had paid batch two and we did not pay batch one. There is a delay and I think the government has been consistent in payment. The issues are being worked out between the Ministry of Finance and the Accountant General's Office. And once these are resolved, the beneficiaries will get their stipend. Wikileaks co-founder Julian Assange has been arrested at the Ecuadorian Embassy in London. Asange took refuge in the embassy seven years ago to avoid extradition to Sweden over a sexual assault case that has since been dropped. The police said he was arrested for failing to surrender to the cuts. Ecuador's president Lenin Moreno said it withdrew Mr. Asange's as asylum after his repeated violations of international conventions. But Wikileaks tweeted that Ecuador had acted illegally in terminating Mr. Asange's political asylum in violation of international law. President Mohamed Buhari today held a closed door meeting with the service chiefs. The meeting started around 11 a.m. on Thursday at the presidential villa, Abuja. However, Belichos could not immediately confirm the purpose of the meeting. The Kano State Government on Tuesday sealed a popular hotel at Abiyokuta Road in Sabongeri, area of Kano, over illegal activities. No fewer than 28 persons, including 19 commercial sex workers and three illegal aliens, we are arrested during closure of the hotel. Speaking to newsmen shortly after the hotel was sealed, the managing director of the State Tourism Management Board, Abdullah Himwazu Guarizo, said the hotel was sealed due to violation of state government laws on hotel operations. He said the hotel operators were alleged to have been harboring non Nigerians, teenage girls, as well as other suspected criminals. Earlier, while speaking to newsmen, the hotel manager, Mr. Boniface Anayochiku, said he registered the hotel, but his license was later revoked. He added that he has been operating for 40 years. Some of the arrested women told journalists that they came from Kaduna, Bruno, and Nasarawa states. This video is now available for download and has video on demand on dailytrust.com.ng and on Dailytrust YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.